Blessings to you, family. Good morning, everyone. Today is November 5th, 2024. And today is, uh, you know, this is your last warning. Today is election day here in America. And um, there have been, <laughs> this has been, this has been a crazy uh, ride. Uh, uh, many of you maybe saw the last video that I did and I shared the dream that I had about Kamala. There were a lot of comments that were um, filled with love and there were a lot of comments that were not, which is to be expected and that's okay because it's my responsibility just to share whatever it is that the Lord is telling me to share. And um, I definitely take that seriously. And so if you're listening to this today and you have not voted already, then maybe this will give you some extra guidance and revelation. And if you have voted already, then this also may still give you some guidance and revelation. Okay, so this is what I want you to realize that when God is talking about politics and um, and he's talking about specifically this time period that we are in, in another election season, you have to look at it prophetically. You can't even look at it in the way that you think you should look at it. As far as this, some people would say, well, you're coming against Kamala, which really I'm not. I'm sharing what the Lord is saying, okay? But some people would say you're coming against Kamala, so that means that you support Trump and that you support everything that he does and that you think that he is uh, such a good person and, and, you know, of course, adding to what I said, putting words in my mouth. Um, but that's what some people believe. But you have to understand that you have to see things prophetically. You can't see things. What I was going to say is you can't see things even from what you would think is, well, I'm choosing the lesser of the two evils, okay, by choosing her. Or even some people would say, well, he's not of good moral character. There are no good godly values that he um, upholds. So why would I vote for him? You've got to see it from the eyes of God. God is not saying that uh, Trump is doing everything correct. God is not saying that he um, is so holy and that he has done things perfectly. Absolutely not. But prophetically speaking, okay, in the realm of the spirit, this is what you have to pay attention to. Who is God saying that he is going to use to change either the trajectory um, of this country as well as other parts of the world? Because, you know, those do go very close hand in hand. And what is it that God is saying is the person that is going the direct opposite of that? So spiritually speaking, again, not about all of the things that you think are so important. Again, this is what God wants his people. And if you're not going to listen to this message all the way, please don't even comment because you've got to hear what God is saying and not your own opinion and not my opinion. But this is prophetically speaking. That means that you have to discern by the spirit and not your own mind, not your own heart, not your own hurt, not even your own fleshly emotions. OK, because emotionally speaking, then, yes, you would see great things about Kamala, possibly, if that's how you're going. Or emotionally speaking, you could see horrible things about Trump. If that's the direction that your mind, that your attention is going in. But this is why God says, choose this day whom you will serve. That means, are you going to serve all of those things? Or are you going to serve me in here what I'm saying now, many of you have heard a lot of different things, right? You've heard a lot of different things, but are you hearing the voice of the Lord? Are you hearing what the spirit has to say about it? That's first and foremost. And also what we know is super important is that our trust is always in God. You know, I saw a lot of people say, well, I'm, I'm trusting in God. Yes, we trust in God and we trust in him to lead us. We trust in God to give us the wisdom and to reveal what it is that he is saying spiritually right now. Now, this is the last two things because I don't want to keep this really long. Again, this is like 640 in the morning. 
So this needs to get out before people even start to vote. Um, if you haven't done so already, but this is the thing that, that the Lord showed me. And this is why there was an urgency on me to um, share this again, another message about this, because those of you who know me, you know this ministry and you know it's by the spirit. That means that you're not forming your own opinion of judgment uh, towards us, but you're by the spirit you're listening. Then, you know, we don't talk about these things a lot, politics and stuff, because that's just not the direction that the Lord has led us in. But right now, this is what he's saying. So I had another dream and he's saying, this is your last warning in the dream. Then I saw this group of people and it was probably only maybe like four or five people in the middle of this parking lot. And they had, they were on fire. Then some way they had gotten, um, out the, the fire had gotten out. And uh, for whatever reason, it's like, I can see them from a distance. And then I realized that the fire was put out, but then all of a sudden I see all of this gasoline still right there around them and they go back and then they start to get on fire again. And then now in my mind, I'm like, well, why did y'all go right back to the same place that you were? You know, you needed to be completely removed from there to not get on fire again. So now this is your fault. That's what I'm thinking. Like, well, this is your fault. You shouldn't have got back there anyway. And that was basically the end of the dream. There were a few other pieces in there, but they're not really important to this message. And this is what God is saying. This is why it's important. And look, if you're in ministry, if you are a prophetic voice, if you are a leader, and God is telling you to say something, it's your responsibility to do so. And so right now, some people, some people are getting ready to go right back to the flames. I'm not talking about hell. So don't misconstrue that. But what I'm saying is you've got to make sure that you don't find yourself in another dangerous situation because of your choices, because you chose not to be removed from what's going on. Now, this is the last piece in that. You also want to make sure, you know, when I said, yes, we serve God, God comes first and foremost, and he will lead us and guide us. But you, you don't want to get something which some people have, you know, there's no, there's no need for name calling and all that. But some people have said, well, I'm choosing the lesser of two evils, or this person is, is, is not worth the, the dirt on the bottom of my shoes. And how is that even godly to say that kind of stuff, regardless of how you feel about them? Um, but anyway, you don't want to choose something and then try to clean it up. So I had another dream and this is within the, uh, last night. Okay. Over the last few hours, this last dream, this person was buying a purse that was on discount and it looked like it, um, it had been used and then returned and it still had like the security, uh, little sensor tag on it. And they were kind of like debating on it, but because it was on clearance, then they wanted to go ahead and get it. And they were saying, well, I'll just wash it out and hopefully the stains will come out. That was the end of the dream. Okay. So this is what God is saying. This is what we do. We say, well, I'll just do this and then try to clean it up by God's grace. Try to resubmit it to him and say, well, God, you know, I did this. Um, I, I chose this route, but just clean it up, God. Just make it better. And the Lord is saying that you can't do that. You've got to get out of your own feelings and stop choosing something because that's just what you want. Even if you don't quite understand everything, you have to really connect with the truth of the spirit of God that is trying to speak to you right now. So this is your final warning. Don't find yourself running or walking right back into that gasoline that you will find yourself back on fire and back trying to clean something up instead of going in the direction that God has already been telling you to go in. So hear this word now. I think I'll leave the comments on the video. Um, I don't know. I'll see what the Lord says about that one. But anyway, family, again, of course, I'm praying for all of us. I'm praying for this nation. I'm praying for this world and I'm praying for both candidates. All right. So love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.